Hello, one and all. Welcome to the Game Compo Prize Giving Ceremony. Make some noise! <laughs> not too bad, not too bad. I think you can do better. On the count of three, make some more noise than that. One, two, three, make some noise! <laughs> Much better. My name's Scott Tumulty. I will be one of your hosts for this prize giving ceremony. But before we get started, I should probably explain the sweet kickback we've got here. You see, uh, Kua Friska Chocolate Milka has been... You didn't think I'd sell out for that, wouldn't you? You'd think it'd be drugs, right? Never mind. You've been able to order this to your desks, but as you've been doing so, you've also been able to win a competition for this wonderful kickback. Look at that. Also, look at where we took the pictures. You think we would have cleaned up? Never mind. So, we are ready to announce the winner of the sweet kickback and it should be coming up in screen anytime now and the winner is drum roll please row 1664 as when cakefish root make your way to the stage and do it quickly run you won't have to run back there you go congratulations sir so, how have you been finding? Yeah, you got to get you got to get questions before you get the kickback. That's how this works. So, how has the gathering been so far? Uh, it's been pretty good. So, we're at the game called Prize Giving. What games have you been playing? Hearthstone, League of Legends, uh, Counter Strike. Do you have a favorite? Hearthstone. Pretty good. Can't complain about that. Also, one other question. Um, I don't know how far away you live, but how on earth are you going to get this home? <laughs> Guess I'm gonna. Take it home, ride it home. Ride it home? Yeah. How far away do you stay? Like 20 minutes with the car, so it's going to be a long Saturday home. It'll be good for you, you'll get good exercise. So um, if you can grab your uh, sweet kick back there, make your exit stage left. Everyone, round of applause. But before you go, I'm going to steal my notes back off you, I need those. So. Like I said, I am one of your hosts. I am very, very pleased to announce your co-host. Make some noise for Ben Dicta! <laughs> and more importantly, she's carrying money! Yay! <laughs> so, how are you today? I'm actually really well. <laughs> really, really well? Yeah, I just did my show and it went okay. <laughs> yeah, I remember bits of your show. You asked me lots and lots of questions on League of Legends, a game I have absolutely no experience of, so Yeah, thank you, you owe me some push-ups, don't you? I'm not doing them here. <laughs> I'm not doing them with an audience. Oh, okay. You can come up to the show later on at half past one in the morning. I promise you nine and a half push-ups like we agreed. Oh, okay. I will be watching. <laughs> promise? Yeah. Pinky swear? Okay, let's... Okay, now it's official, ladies and gentlemen. You're all witnesses if police call you up to investigate this. So, without any further ado, shall we get on with the prizes? Yeah, we shall! <laughs> so, what do we have coming up first? I believe... Minecraft All-Stars! Yeah, that's correct. We have Minecraft All-Stars, which actually is a competition where they are doing a lot of small competitions. I don't really know Minecraft that well, but that's how it was explained to me. It's a wonderful game. I use it just to go for walks when it's freezing outside. You know, Scotland's a cold country. <laughs> I've been watching it on YouTube, but that's about it. So... <laughs> In reverse order, in third place, drum roll please from the audience, you can slap your hands to your thighs. Louder than that, come on. <laughs> in third place, come to the stage, Martin Kleppo! Yeah, make some noise for the man! So, well done, well done. So, so how have you found the competition so far? Um, uh, it's been a lot of fun, I guess. Um, I wasn't actually thinking I would win anything, so this is a big surprise for me, I guess. Yeah. Good surprise, right? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's money. Why wouldn't <laughs> it be a good surprise? I like his thinking. I like your thinking. So there you go, third place. In second place, 
Make your way to the stage, Christian Satter. So, uh, second place, feeling good? Yeah, like, it's uh, the only hours I have spent in Minecraft uh, ever, so pretty unexpected, but I'll take it. Natural. And finally, in first place, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a big drum roll, please. Yeah, there we go. You're going to have sore legs after this. Make your way to the stage, Thomas Dahl! Well done, sir. Well done. I forgot to tell you, I love your hoodie. It's really nice. Thanks. So, first place, congratulations. How do you feel? Uh, good. <laughs> Just good. Huh? Just good. Yeah. Amazing. Perfect. I don't know. So, uh, how did you find the competition? Easy? Difficult? Uh, medium. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're like the middle bear in the tail of Goldilocks. That's fair enough. So, Bendicta has your prize here? Yes, I do. Here. Show it to the camera. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> okay, the next competition we're going to talk about is Minecraft Voxel Hero. Now, you can still go into 23.59 tonight. You still have time to enter, but in the meantime, We've got a little video to show you of some of the entries we've had so far, so turn your attention to the massive impressive screen that we have.
Well, what do you make of that? It's some of the most creative things I have ever seen. We had a, a domed habitat, we had clockwork cities, we had something that looked a lot like the Stark Expo from Iron Man 2. Yeah, we were quite amazed all the time. <laughs> That's a lot of creativity. I'd never find the time for that, let alone the creativity. No, I don't understand how they did that in like four days. <laughs> now, you do have until the end of today or just before to get your entries in and the winner will be announced over at the Game Arena there in the big black gaming cube, which I've only just realized should be called the Game Cube. Yeah, it should. It's How do I only know this now? Yeah, it's a black cube. <laughs> but without any further ado, the Dota 2 winners. Yes, and we had 900 participants this year in the game competitions. Of those, 30 were in Dota. <laughs> so everybody who is mad at the whole no Dota at the gathering, just start entering the competition. Well, first off, we have the third place, Team Spirits. Team Spirits, make your way up. <laughs> yep, we're going down the whole line, this is how it works. So many people. <laughs> so, hands up, who's the team captain? There you go. Congratulations. How did you find the competition? Uh, could you say that again? How did you find the competition? Uh, the enemy teams that we played against later were a lot better than us. Well, you came in third. That's nothing to be sniffed at. That's pretty good. What was the highlight for you, though? Uh, what was the best bit? The two first matches. Fair enough. Well, moving on to yes. our second place contestant. Yeah, and the name is kind of similar, actually. So in second place, Team Spirit. So again, hands up team captain. So second place, you happy with that? Uh, not really, but it's okay. It could be worse. I'm not gonna say it could be third, cause you know, guys, you're right there. But uh, yeah, second place, can't complain. So uh, without any further ado, our first place winner for Dota 2. Yes, and they have an interesting name. I'm just gonna give it a shot. <laughs> Shoot boys. So, hands up team captain. Excellent. Nice to meet you. So, first place. Is this what you wanted? Yeah, what? Happy with first place? Yes. So, what was your strategy? How did you get to be the eventual winner of the Dota 2 tournament? Uh, we practiced beforehand and just won. Just won? Yeah. No strategy, just, we just won. Screw these guys, we just won. I like your spirit, sir. So, have we got the prize there? Yes, we do. Give it up one more time for your three teams. Okay, next up, we have the winners for StarCraft 2. Yes, we do, and that's an ever fun competition, I don't know. <laughs> it's always pretty tense. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's always tense when people compete at games that I'm absolutely terrible at. So, in third place, welcome to the stage, Pad! Congratulations. So, my god, you're big. You're, I am. You're just small. I am small. Well, my, whenever I come over here, I feel like a hobbit. So, third place, are you okay with that? I'm okay with that. I don't, even, I don't play that much StarCraft, so... I'm good from the old days, so it's good to come here and compete a little bit, yeah. Awesome, thank you very much. In second place, make your way to the stage, Colbine! <laughs> Congratulations, so second place, it's not third, it's not first. How do you feel? I'm really happy I haven't played StarCraft in one year before the gathering. I only play Hearthstone, so <laughs> I'm really happy. 
So uh, commiserations to everybody else who was beaten by the guy who hasn't played in a year. <laughs> However, he was bested by one person. Can we have expert gaming Adrian to the stage? So congratulations in first place. You've been someone who's not that into StarCraft and someone who hasn't played in a year. How do you feel? <laughs> it isn't that special. Yeah. <laughs> you, get, you get a prize though, you get money, right? Yeah, money's good. Money's good, remember that folks. Take that home with you. Money is good. Big round of applause for our winners, ladies and gentlemen. Next up, the prize winners for CSGO, another game I am famously terrible at, but never mind. First to the stage, Isle Lamo. So, Hans, I'm trying to guess who's team captain. I think it might be you. So, third place. How are you feeling about that? No, mate. You should have won. Easy. Should be put three in the semi. Not put one. Best of one. Okay? Come. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> in second place, can we welcome to the stage the Exiles! So, hands up, team captain. That's you, sir. Congratulations. So, second place, like we say, it ain't third, it ain't first. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel pretty good, and uh, we had a lot of fun. So, a lot of practice beforehand? Uh, we're just friends. We played for one year, but we, we didn't really do any strategy, practice, or anything. Still playing for a year, that's pretty good. That's for a year's worth of being a team. You can't, you can't complain about second place. That's really good. Well done, guys. However, you weren't first. I hate to be the one to tell you. So could we welcome to the stage in first place, Urge! There's only four of you. The last one went home because he was tired. He went home because he was tired? Well, I understand that. At, at the <laughs> gathering. Dude, I'm 30, I haven't gone home yet. I've got, so, first place, how are you feeling about this? I feel great. It was, it was a good competition and it was, it was kind of easy until the finals. It was difficult then and we managed to pull the win. So, the other teams say they haven't really practiced too much. Have you been going over strategies, anything like that? Not at all. Nope, just like the other guy, we just won. We turned up, we won championships. Deal with it. It seems like you've got a few fans down here as well. <laughs> Wish I had them, man. Anyway, congratulations to all our winners. Make some noise. <laughs> so next up, League of Legends. Yes, my favorite game. <laughs> Turns out League of Legends has some fans as well. Who'd have thought? Yeah, who would have thought? Just the largest game in the world. Just only the largest <laughs> game in the world. Well, in League of Legends, we had 375 people competing. It was the largest competition here in-game. And in third place, we have Team Gamer Mag. So many people. <laughs> so many. Okay. In second place, we have Team Atraxi Nike. <laughs> I have never met you before. Well, <laughs> 
who wants to answer questions? Okay, I can do it. So, in the final game, it was pretty close. Yes, really close. But we decided to give them the win, because they were whining a lot. So, in the video coming up to the final, you said you left the winning team because they were too bad. <laughs> How do you feel about that statement right now? No comment. <laughs> okay, so then we will have to introduce the winners. I suppose we'll have to. Yeah, and they are the only team in this competition, at least, wearing jerseys. So I think we can recognize them just based on that. In first place, we have Celestial Gaming. Never met them either. Never met them in your life? <laughs> never, I'm never. the double handshake, like the two-handed handshake. You, never, <laughs> you don't see enough of that nowadays, really. It's not awkward at all. Yeah. So, Thomas, also known as Miss Yellow, how was the final? Really easy. I didn't even try. Yeah. Who was your MVP? Hmm? Wait, wait, can you... Oh, uh, you been... Okay. Hey. A round of applause for Jubel, then. <laughs> you can do better than that. Make some noise for all your finalists. And now up to, I think, one of my favorite competitions, the winners of the Nerd Brawl. And nobody knows. I know. <laughs> lots and lots of different games. Some you've played before, some you've never played before. It's just, it's an all-out fight, is what it is. Yeah, I think they actually played Worms at some point. I love that game. <laughs> I've played that game since I was a child. I should have entered. Yeah, you should have. Curses. <laughs> Alas, maybe next year. In third place, can we welcome back to the stage, Carl Bine! A man of many talents. Hmm. <laughs> Congratulations again. So, uh, how do you feel about worms in general? I feel like I'm really bad at it. <laughs> no, I meant the, the ones in, in the ground. I don't know. Good answer. <laughs> in second place, can we welcome to the stage, Velcro! Congratulations, man. Thank you. So, how do you feel about worms? I'm, I have no idea how to play it, so no idea how to play it. So third and second place have no idea how to play one of the games in the Nerd Brawl. Hmm. Well, we're hoping number one will. The winner of the Gathering 2015 Nerd Brawl is... Happy Spatters! <laughs> Congratulations. Tell me you have some feelings about the game Worms. Uh, I actually have never played it before the Nerd Brawl. <laughs> and yet you won. You must be some kind of gaming prodigy. You must have a natural talent for worming. Well, I don't know. I uh, won a lot of games on walkover, so... Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Make some noise for your Nerd Brawl finalists and your winner! I think we've had a pretty good prize giving. Make some noise for Ben Dicta, of course, and a wonderful co host. This is so awkward. Is there anything you want to say? Uh, no, not really. Anything you want to sing? Are you a rapper or anything like that? You know? No. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> Curses. Well, we've got one more prize to give out. Yes, we do, and this is in the Minecraft world as well. Oh no, this is even better. Oh, it is? Wait, you said Minecraft. Continue, continue for me. Yeah, we have a second Minecraft competition, don't we? I believe so. What one are you referring to? Voxel? No, that, that's later. Then this? Yeah, we had the things there, but you can still enter mm. the Voxel Hero competition. The winner will be announced later over at the GameCube. Okay. Yeah, we've got a little bit of time, so if you're a Minecraft fiend or a wizard of some description, mm. perhaps a sorcerer, Please try and get your entries in. 
All the info you need will be at gathering.org. But we even have a secret prize even you didn't know about. Oh, well, obviously. Yeah. This is for Pimp My Real or Pimp My Shelf in any other language. Could we have the seven winners from Pimp My Real up to the stage, please? There oh. we go. Look at this. Matching hats. Okay. <laughs> So, in addition to everything you've won so far, guys, congratulations. I love your hats. Very, very road safety conscious. You're never going to get ran down wearing those. Going to be seen like a mile off. We would also like to offer you these tickets to next year's gathering. In mean, one each, obviously. So, there you go. Pass them out amongst yourselves. And make some noise for the Pit My Real winners! So, I think we've had a pretty good prize giving. Everyone's gone home fairly happy, except for the people who weren't happy with second and third. But you know what? They should have fought harder. That's their problem. Yeah, actually. And that prize is probably the best one. You don't have to wait in line next year. Exactly. You can just wall straight in. We should get you other hats. We should get you crowns. Like you're the kings and queens. Possibly princesses of the gathering. I'd, I'd prefer a tiara, actually. Oh, I want a tiara. Well, tiara. it's not going to mess up my hair, you know, just going to sit in front of it. So, uh, you've been working in game for a little while this weekend, this whole week. What's been your favorite game compo moment? Well, I don't think it would come as any surprise that I say League of Legends. <laughs> well, and the finals today was pretty awesome. Yep, I was sitting there for that. Even as someone who's a total noob for League of Legends, it was pretty tense. I can see why people get into it. I can see why it's packed out stadiums in London, Korea, and it's just, it's came out of nowhere. Yeah, uh, and the people just watching here in the audience and all the feels. <laughs> all the feels. But of course, we've had other games, we've had a great time. So ladies and gentlemen, one more time. Make some noise, stamp your feet, clap your hands, go absolutely mental for everyone you've seen on stage tonight. I'm sure they feel loved. Thank you very much. With that, I think it's time for us to go backstage and take advantage of all the free water and stuff. Yeah. That's kind of how we roll. Thanks again. Make some noise one more time for everyone you've seen. Back to the studio. Up there, guys.